heard people was boycotting Chick-fil-A and I'm like, <laughs> I like them sandwiches now. Am I supposed to be boycotting Chick-fil-A? Are y'all boycotting? Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope y'all are having a good day, a good morning. Whatever that looks like for y'all. I am actually getting ready to head to Ikea by myself, but what the world? Is it running rain? You know, this is why I don't be going nowhere. It's about to rain. Um, but Charles talked about it because honey, I will not go somewhere in a heartbeat if it's gonna rain because I do not like to drive in the rain. But I'm gonna go because I really need to go grab something from my office really quick. Um, that would just make my life a lot easier if I had it. And where's my other purse? Because I need my driver's license. Where is it? Lord help me God. Charles is at work. Of course the girls are still not here. But uh, uh, yeah, I really need to clean up my office. Because it's a hot mess. It's in shambles. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all what that thing look like, but I'm kind of ashamed. Here we go, other purse, let me see. <sighs> Heck, if I don't find my license, I ain't going nowhere. Nowhere at all, cause they will take your butt out of here. What the H? Come on now. Okay, y'all yeah, be right back, I gotta go find my license. Okay, y'all, I'm done in Ikea. I could not record in there because it was just too much going on. Like, so many people. Hold on. What the heck did I park? What the world? Shit, I gotta go back in there and get my damn thing. Well, I thought I was done, but I'm not. I gotta go back in there, which I don't wanna do and get my freaking trash can. It was full of stuff. Man, let's go. This is so stupid. Y'all like my mask? It's on my site. Go get it. All right, got my trash can, y'all. Here it is, it's full of stuff. They got a pretty good order going on out here. It's just the line to check out. Crazy, okay? But luckily, everybody was wearing masks, so. That's really good. People are trying to be safe and everything. But I'm gonna get to the car. We're gonna go ahead and go home. I'm hungry. So I should go eat first, but I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Y'all, I am out here pumping gas and I have not even had gas in my car since March. I think I did get put some gas in there in May, but it's down, it's damn near July. And I put some finally put some gas in here and I'm pumping it myself. Look, I'm so proud. All right, y'all, so I am now at Chick-fil-A about to get me something to eat because your girl is hungry. I wanted some freaking buffalo wings. I've been craving buffalo wings. I think we might have that for dinner because we were supposed to have tacos. Taco Tuesday, we're gonna make street tacos, but we needed to get like some chilies or something to make the uh, pastors because that's the ones I like and Charles likes too. So we're gonna do those. <laughs> we're gonna have Taco Wednesday. We always never had tacos on the day we supposed to have tacos, but anyway. Um, so now I'm at Chick Fil A. I'm about to get my meal. I always get a number two, not the deluxe one. I used to get the deluxe one, but I'm be taking everything off. So I get the number two spicy chicken sandwich. I add pepper jack cheese, and then I put spicy sriracha and Chick Fil A sauce on it. But I think today I'm just gonna do the spicy sriracha. I know y'all don't care. I know. I know. I know y'all don't care. I like coming to Chick Fil A because their methods is always bomb. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> how are you doing? Katrina. Katrina, can I get you the name Katrina? Um, let me have a number two. Uh, add pepper jet cheese, spicy sriracha, and Chick-fil-A sauce. Is that the offer? Mm -hmm. I got you down for a spicy spicy Chick-fil-A sandwich meal with pepper jack cheese, a Sprite, Sriracha, and Chick-fil-A sauce. Yep. Your total is seven dollars and ninety-four cents. All right. Sorry for me. This way? Yes, ma'am. All righty, you have a good one. You too, thank you. That is so nice, y'all. So y'all know all the Chick-fil-A's are like super nice people, but if y'all are in Atlanta, the one I love to come to is in Grant Park. Oh my God. First of all, I freaking love Grant Park over here by the zoo, but they are always so freaking nice. Like 
super nice like how you doing today ma'am hope you have a beautiful day today ma'am and i know they all probably are like that but these are young kids y'all they're young black men and they're just so freaking polite and it just warms my heart oh my god it just warms my heart no attitudes or nothing like that oh my goodness gracious i love that i just love good service Ugh. good lord if the service was bad i couldn't come back and i heard people was why well, i got this on i heard people was boycotting chick-fil-a and i'm like <laughs> i like the sandwiches now am i supposed to be boycotting chick-fil-a are y'all boycotting there is one boycott i can get on it's not even a boycott it's it's managing the economic dollar and showing our economic power. And I just ran across the post on Instagram. I'm gonna screenshot it and then I'll sh show y'all. But anyway, it's called National Economic Withdrawal Boycott. And it's like a whole week long. So each day you boycott something different. So day one, you're supposed to, dang, that already started. What's today? Oh crap, it's 23rd. Oof, okay, I didn't do no shopping today. So today I'm not supposed to be shopping. No Amazon, no Fashion Nova, no sneakers app, no none of that, which is great because yesterday I just bought some shoes off the sneakers app. Um, so I didn't mess that up. But what was I not supposed to try? We didn't do no fast food. That's good. Tomorrow I'm supposed to boycott uh, grocery stores. Or not boycott. Yeah, boycott grocery stores. Either way, I'm down for it. I would like to see what our what what happens if we don't spend our dollars and we spend and we spend our dollars elsewhere like black owned businesses and stuff you know what i'm saying like that would be dope i always support black owned businesses but i i i, I can't support all black business because all black business owners are not always the kindest just like if i go to a store i don't think i don't know if i share this y'all or not but just like if i go to a store and i don't get good customer service i'm not spending my money there like i'm just not going to and i honestly feel like you <laughs> i honestly feel like you should treat not you i'm not saying you got to treat me better because i'm black but we're trying to support you know we, we're trying to support the right way and it's just kind of like i'm gonna just spend my money where i'm treated you know with respect because i'm not gonna ask you for no discounts or no you know let me get the hookup i don't want to hook up i want to pay you full price but i also want to i want i want chick-fil-a customer service okay but for the most part i mean i don't really run into too many bad experiences you know so I can't really complain. But I will see you guys when I get home because my food is on its way. And I'm hungry. Bye. All right, y'all. So I made it back home. I'm finally getting ready to eat my food. I ate my fries first. But I'm going to sit here. Probably take a nap. Because I'm tired, y'all. not going to lie to you. If they call me back to work, I'm going to miss taking naps. Because, honey, these naps give me life. And sleeping in. Woo. Okay. But... I did send an email to my company because I'm coming up on my 12 weeks here shortly and, and maybe about three weeks, it'll be my 12 weeks. Um, So I reached out to them yesterday to see if they were gonna bring me back or not because I ain't heard nothing from them. I don't have e um, access to company email. So I'm just waiting their response to see what I need to do for myself um, because I need to go ahead and start looking <laughs> if they never call me back because your girl can't be just, you know, sitting here chilling all day or day. You know what I'm saying? Which cool for a minute, but I'm ready to go back to work okay anyway i'm um, about to eat wait for charles to get home so when he get here i'll let him talk to y'all and y'all can see his fresh shaved head honey i don't think that video is gonna be out yet because he needs to edit it and charles is not that fast to editing but we did uh film cutting his shaving me shaving his head it was hilarious honey and we even like gave him his first old man dye so he got his beard dyed beijing black <laughs> so anyway when he get back i'll let him see y'all bye What's going on, people? How y'all doing this afternoon? Guess what? Oh, this is a few days after my my shave. It's growing back a little bit, so I'm gonna have to shave up again. But I look much better. Y'all haven't seen me. Huh? The video's probably not live. The one that you your shaving video. Yeah, I know. I'm just. When are you putting this one up? Tomorrow. Oh. I already told him that. Um, you will be putting that up. Oh, okay, well y'all haven't seen the shaving video yet. If y'all haven't seen it yet, it's coming. Just gotta get it edited. But anyway, shaved, looks better. Y'all haven't seen me without a hat on in a long time because I've been looking like trash. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Me and the wife are about to sit down here and watch some TV. You know, the new episode of Greenleaf is back on. The, the, the newest and the final season of Greenleaf. So we're gonna finish this thing on out. And, the end uh, of long though. Okay. Go for it, boo. No, I said you can end the vlog though. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. 
I don't know what she was vlogging because I wasn't in most of it probably. But um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I don't know the words that you say. If you have not subscribed to our channel, do so now. If you are subscribed but you have not hit the notification bell, you know that part? Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload. Yes. In the meantime. In between time. Till the next time. Bye.